Welcome back to the Underdogs Podcast Special. That's so generic. I hate that. The fade out. (laughs) It's literally what our... uh, our switching board came with our mixing desk. Oh, but who's controlling the switching board? Oh, oh it's Jar. We got Jared in the house, so if you hear any dope sound effects like this one, <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, yeah, we got high production value. Multiple you know, camera. Angle. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's gone mad with power. <laughs> Stop him. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, so, Peter, you don't have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Great segue, Jordan. Just, Very subtle. Just, just real quick. So, we were going to have uh, old mate Coney on the pod today. Oh, of course. He'll be in the next episode, 90% sure. Like a bloody phony. But, yeah, <laughs> old mate, apparently, apparently, the power's out. Mm, yeah, fucking <laughs> likely story. He's just having a good old sleep in, isn't he? But you know, and you messaging know. us about the power being out yeah. as he's sleeping. Well, if his power's out, how is he messaging us if he's got no power? Ooh, check Facts. Mm. Facts. Yeah, take that. So this atheists. is going to be a bit scuffed, maybe. No, no, no. A no. bit improv. But anyway, I haven't had a phone recently. Um, mm. My phone screen just randomly stopped working. And it's almost been two weeks ago. Yeah, why haven't you fixed it? What time? I, I gave it to the shop on Friday. It's now Thursday and I haven't even got as much oh. as an email and I'm giving them my phone, right? And I'm having a great conversation with the person uh, at the desk because they had like the same car as me. So I was like, yeah, this is so fun, blah, 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 blah. And then they're like, can I just get your contact number so we can call you when it's done? <laughs> and I'm like, no, you fucking cannot. So I don't know if they've just been calling my number, just being like, man, this guy never picks up and it's been done or something. Asked Jordan, you do you get number. it? Yeah, I yeah, get uh, it. Yeah. Jordan, do you get it? He looked very confused no, for a I, while. No, I was confused at why they would ask that. I'm like, isn't this your job? Like, how, <laughs> have, you not, someone? how have you not worked this out by this you point? email. Yeah, no, I, I, I will probably email them tomorrow because they were like usually takes about three days and it's oh, been six now so it's we'll like see. over the weekend don't they just pop a new one on how's it pop a new one the screen don't you just take it off oh yeah, it's not sure even broken dude like it wasn't even broken it's wait like why did you give it to them? because this like it's not cracked or broken it's just like not uh, showing anything on it oh it's like i was oh, literally mid a, using it and the screen just turned off and didn't oh, turn like back on big oh, you know i've had that but turn back on Turn back on. Turn yeah. back on. Very helpful oh, statement. Brilliant. But I'm just going to give up <laughs> podcasting forever. What the fuck? Yeah. Say one wrong sentence here. I'm in the shitter. Hey, look, yeah. I cop it a fair bit. I had to, I had to get someone back. <laughs> Reverse it. <yeah. laughs> Has it been peaceful though? I feel like maybe, Dude, I, I don't know, have you had any life revelations? I hella rate it. I actually might just go back. I, I might just keep this going, to be honest. It's only bad in a few aspects, but it's actually good in a few aspects as well. Like, mm-hmm. not, not to be too fake deep, but it'll actually be some things I do take away from it because like it makes you realize there's a lot of, um, you know, like group chats and shit. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Worst. Underdogs Worst. group chat. Yeah. Underdogs group <laughs> chat. <laughs> Absolute that disaster. That always in there. The only good everyone one. Everyone reply, everyone reply. That's no, but no seriously, reply. you actually have an excuse for not replying all the time. Yeah. And like, if I check it, you know, once every, you know, you know, day or like I, I do it most like throughout the day on a laptop or something, I still get the important information I'm just not there for all the fucking around in between. Exactly. <laughs> so, not the uh, brain bombardment of like, hey, look over here. Yeah. Someone said something. And like, so like, I'm like, th- there's other things too. So I'm, I'm going out and Sophie's like, oh, I'm going to send you the shopping list and you can do the shopping for us. I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh nice. daisy. I guess you're going to have to do it yourself. <laughs> Peter, can you do the dishes? Oh, I can't Google it. <laughs> Don't know how. Sorry, <laughs> how do I do that. No, you would honestly be shocked how many things you would usually be so used to doing. And it's just Your like- poops must be insightful. Oh, dude, they're quick as hell. Yeah, fucking, <laughs> it slides out like a fucking greased bullet and then I'm just out of there, dude, because I'm not wasting time. <laughs> No Twitter on the on the toilet. That's <laughs> solid. I've been trying to not go on the phone on the toilet. It's surprisingly hard. That's when the you... worst place to cut it out from. <laughs> 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 the audience loves this insight from Jordan. I will no longer shit while being on Twitter. Can you <laughs> say that like Martin Luther King. Uh, <laughs> like say a really really powerful statement. I've not gone on my phone. <laughs> what in the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going for. Oh, you know, you gotta man. be like, Jar's in on your brain, dude. Yeah, I was not like, getting that. I was surprised. I vow to not use the phone when taking a shit. Like, that's all I think. <laughs> taking this too far I love already. How it just cuts off. What? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel don't know. so powerful, though. It's like a. I feel like that's the worst place to remove it's using the your best. phone. No, 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 because no, you just think instead. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> what? What are you thinking about your shit? 
<laughs> no, you think about your thoughts. I get that in the car, actually, Beautiful. because, like, the music options aren't there anymore for uh. me because my phone doesn't have, like, a CD thing. It's only Bluetooth. Yep. No phone, no Bluetooth. It's the radio or nothing. Which is nothing. Uh. Which is pretty unfortunate sometimes. Yep. So, I, so, I actually do get some good thinking done. And I, I kind of rate it for those those yeah. aspects. Any revelations? No. Any more car? Brilliant. No. Oh. Have you found it strange looking at real life instead of Pokemon Go? Oh. It's actually been really good. Sophie's Ooh. like playing Pokemon Go huh? and she's like, she's like, oh, I need to trade with you. Do you have your phone so you can trade with me? And normally I was How like- How is Sophie asking so many fo- questions about your phone? I thought <laughs> she should know by now. <laughs> <laughs> she's always getting caught out. That's the thing. It's automatic, dude. It's automatic. Yeah, it's so yeah, many yeah, things yeah. you're so used to. And I'm like, I wouldn't really want to bother doing this, but I'll do it because like you want to trade. Mm. Can't do it. It's brilliant. Damn. It's the get out of jail free card in every aspect. So, but you love you, Pokemon Go. You play. Yeah, I've kind of fallen day. out of love with it, to be honest. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of, I've kind of fallen out of it, to be honest. Yeah. Oh no. There was Since this one using a phone. Yeah, I'd guess. No, no, no. Before that, dude. Uh, yeah. There was one mission in it, and oh my fucking There's god. Missions? Yeah, it's like like ongoing quest lines or whatever. It was like, like get a heart with your buddy every day for thirty days in a row, in a, in a row. And I got to twenty seven and then forgot a day. And oh, I've just been I've just hated the game ever since. That's like when you lose your snap. That's streak. exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. Except Dude. I was never really big on that. I think there was one person that I uh, went like big on snap streak with when I used to work at Woolies, uh. and we were like snap streak and probably got to like thirty five. And then I, I think oh, I was the, probably the one that dropped it. And they got really upset. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just not going to start. Can't fail if you don't start. That's a quote. You can quote me on that. Yeah, listen to that one, kids. Listen up. What's the longest snap streak you ever got, you guys ever had? Because I was never big into oh, it. I never. Yeah. No, I think so. But I, I definitely remember seeing people and they're like, oh, it's been 200. Yeah, hundreds, so. dude. But I'd be like, I don't know, 20 probably was my biggest. The best is when you add someone on Snapchat and they send you streak and you just have to send back, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but we used to message and yeah, like, just and say it, streak because they like, wanted no, to keep it going. I'm not doing this with you. But you can't send that. I did. I did. But it keeps it going. No, yeah, but then they don't send, they're not going to send straight back if you say shut the they fuck up. They just get a daily shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> they get back a video of Jackson running down the street naked and he's like, oh, wrong type of streak. <laughs> <laughs> streak. Okay. Streak. <laughs> With a commitment. Do you guys think that someone asking for your Snapchat is like a red flag? Uh, well, because they're too young. Well, it, it just means that you might not get along with them because we're so not into that. Like us, all four of us are not into using Snapchat, Who right? Do I don't meet any new people anymore. I'm not going to lie. Okay. If you met a new person and then you're like, oh, do you want to interface with me? Like, no, you got to add me on Snapchat. Would I, you be like, my, oh. I don't even have Snapchat. I don't have I it anymore either. either. Yeah. Would you, I think it'd probably turn me off being friends with a person. I Rude. think I'd be fine. I think I'd just go, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a good go-to for you, yeah, Jackson. It's been a bit of my catchphrase actually as of late. That's a pretty brutal catchphrase. <laughs> well, don't get on my bad side. <laughs> Oh man. Is it even a young person thing? Yeah, people, I think so. People our age also have Snapchat and so do older people. I think TikTok's the young person thing these oh, days. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm, on, I'm, I'm so on TikTok. Old. Boomers, dude. <laughs> I'm on TikTok. How do you do, fellow kids? No, you have to I'm on the TikTok. Yeah, That's yeah, how you yeah, know yeah, you're a boomer. Yeah, yeah. I've ticked the talk a couple times. Nice, dude. <laughs> that sounded gross. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Just do oh. it when no one's around. <laughs> Posted a nice juicy talk. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I think let's uh, change the topic after that one. Maybe the having topic? no phone is good. <laughs> I actually wanted to do the no phone challenge. Um, just get rid of my phone for a week and see how I went. Give it to me. No, I'll I throw it to the wall. <laughs> Needed to get Peter home. Really needs one. He's, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's got this uh, intense Pokemon Go mission. I've heard he's fucking <laughs> seriously, he Jackson. It. What's stopping you? Uh, mostly music, to be honest. Yeah, I listen to music pretty much all the time. Why didn't you just get an iPod Touch? I mean, I don't want to spend any money to do my challenge, oh, you know? True. I suppose I you listening. could find an old iPod or something. Yeah. What if you just put it in airplane mode? I mean, that would work. I might what do if that. I just follow you around and sing all your favorite tunes. Give me a song and I'll recreate it perfectly. California Cinema. Girls. Cinema by Skrillex. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, there's a story behind this, but first I'll just give you the performance of a lifetime. Ooh. You are do, you want, do you want like a drum line? Cinema. <laughs> no, I'm doing it oh, all. Oh, you're doing it all? You are... Cinema, I could watch you forever. We're doing this till the drop, right? Yeah, please. Gotta get the oh, drop. Let's just skip a bit. Oh, Why did you start so oh, early? That's on you. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll 
I skipped to the job. Um, He's like from the top. Drop the bass. Dude, I was listening. Honestly, no, let him go. go. Let him go. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was really good. Don't interrupt. It's good. Wait, how, so how did they react when you did that? So let's let's take it back a couple of notches. <laughs> if you've seen the latest Underdogs Two Truth One Live video, which you have on Music Camp one year, which was when I was in year twelve. What? Well, how old was I? Probably old enough to know better. Like sixteen. Yeah, I was six, sixteen is not bad. Sixteen actually. or seventeen in year twelve. Yeah. yeah. So we went away. Tour went to France, Ireland, and Belgium. I believe this was in Ireland, and we were in a hotel. All the teachers had their own room where they would hang out, and all of us kids Saucy. would kind of roam the halls, play a couple. Games, probably some truth or dare, that sort of thing. I think it actually was a game of truth of da- truth or dare, mm. or maybe I just volunteered. This kind of seems like a thing I used That's to do. That's something in you would have school, done, yeah. yeah. To go in and <laughs> perform live, what I just did, cinema by Skrillex, was it complete with like the drum fill as well, or was it just yeah? Like- no, this was definitely a dare. Now that I think of it. I <laughs> I think what happened is they were playing Truth and Dare and Zach said, listen to this, guys. I'm about to go into the teacher's office. Do you they dare were, me? Yeah, do you dare me to do it? Who dares me to go into the teacher's office and sing Skrillex? Wait, so did you you go in, yeah? And then you're like, can I perform? Yeah. Or, oh, wow. Or no, straight no, 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 in. no, no, no. Straight in. Oh. Sorry. Open the door. And I'm pretty sure I started at the drop. I just went, drop the bass. Then I was like doing a whole like dance sort of thing. And absolute blank stares from everyone in the crowd. Oh, what were you expecting? The crowd being a group of high school teachers. Were you expecting them to be like, yeah, boy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like the worst part is, but, but there's like no, no like chuckle, nothing. And then I, I kind of petered out. <laughs> stop, stop singing. Oh, the slow and drift then off in your voice. The head of the music department was just like, that's enough, Zach. Please leave. It was like completely oh, stone cold. My God. Oh, I've never ha- yeah, heard that rough. full story like that. No, I didn't that's way, it was so brutal. way less funny and just more sad. Another <laughs> dare that I did was to climb was up on top of Was this unprompted as well? I don't remember. <laughs> I just remember ending up owling on top of a vending machine. <laughs> Do you, you guys remember owling? owling? No. I'm more a planking kind of guy. I'm a planker. You, I've heard of plank. perch like an owl. You bump Basically your head, like, squatting and, uh, you know, go up on high places. Just on like random, like planking, mm-hmm. except it's the same as planking, but worse, honestly. So you're just Same squatting. head of the music department walked in. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, enough, Zach. <laughs> I stood my ground. He was like, Zach, get down from there. Because it's on a vending machine in a random hotel. It was pretty bad. You said, hoot. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> no, you did. I it. literally no, did. You did not hoot at your music teacher while were, on a vending machine. No, my friends were there. I had to look fully committed. I and I was just like, cool. I, had, I had to prove I was cool by hooting like an owl what, on top of a vending what machine. What year was this? Year 12. No. So it was also on the music year. tour. That's insane. Same yeah, truth This or music tier, uh, tour should just be removed from your brain. Like, oh, no, it's, it's, good. it's potentially worse than that as well. That's unbelievable. Oh, I haven't told this story on the podcast. Here We're we going go. music tour recap <laughs> here. Uh, this is actually real bad of me. Different hotel. Uh, me and the boys. The few, lads. A few boys, yeah. A few lads mm-hmm. decided it would be a great idea to buy some BB guns over there because you can. You can't actually buy BB oh. guns in Australia. No, it's illegal. And you also can't take them back to Australia. So these $50 BB guns were getting discarded at the airport. We're not getting them on the plane. So you're just enough. going out with it. Going out with a bang. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. So we all bought BB guns. And you know those little containers of milk that you get at hotels? Yeah, yeah like the... the yeah. yeah, the little cups yeah. with the foil lid that you peel off. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So we would line them up facing sideways and we would try to shoot them like targets. And if you get it through the top, like the milk would all leak leak out, you know? Like you shoot the BB gun through the top. Don't they all cost like $3? Uh, No, they're free. I think they're free. Oh, okay. I thought it was like... I don't think we had that sort of money. I was in year 12. Exactly. And so we're all shooting these uh, BB guns at the milk, you know, having a bit of fun. And there was a really annoying politician on the TV and I don't know oh. what inspired me to do this, but we were all saying like, oh, this politician's so annoying. Then I was like, yeah, shut up, dude. And I shot the BB gun at the TV and obviously cracked it. Oh, yeah. Like, Duh. yeah. God. For some reason, I did not think that would happen at the time. Never got punished for it. Never what, got found really? out. Really? Yeah, hit and run. Wait, did the TV break or it was just like the pixels? Just like, just like a yeah, couple pixels in that oh area. Crack God. on the glass. 
sort of thing. That's in. And I got away with it. Damn. Wow, the perfect they've crime. Been, they've been waiting for so long. The police are finally going to call you out. <laughs> the cold case has been figured out. Yeah, what country is this even in? I think France. Don't yeah, the French them. police <gasps> are coming for you. Freaking oh. Interpol's about to f- absolutely wreck you. Yeah. Dude, that's reminding me of... Pa- I haven't done paintballing in ages. Have you all done paintball? I've never paintballed. Really? I did once. It was okay. It's I've r- never done it. Oh, dude. It's good. A bit spooky, though. It was like a big thing at my high school, just always paintballing at every birthday party. Mm. And then every time I'd be like, oh boy, <laughs> going again. And I would be like so nervous. And then my friends are like running around with like no shirt on, just like shooting the crap out of each other. Fearless. But it's a good time. It does hurt though. Underdogs paintballing? Anytime, any, you guys, you guys down? Yeah. Oh, that'd be pretty I'd fun. Do. That would be fun. You know actually. what is pretty hectic? The, the whole like, when you're just playing video games, you're not very careful, but this is like one shot and you're dead, exactly. right? So you actually play it mm. like- not like realistically to real life, but it's it's a little closer than, you know, yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. Yeah, because we did a, like a run of like going to paintballing for a bunch of birthdays. And it's like every time it's like hectic, getting shot actually like hurts a lot. And then we did laser tag once after that. And we're just like, what the hell is it? We're just walking around like, pew, pew, pew. It's laser just, tag's sick. It, it's but man, I haven't after, played paintballing. If you do paintballing five times to go back to laser tag, uh, you're like, what am I doing you right now? You can't go back. You can't go back. It's like the harder and harder drugs, you know. I feel like. You- <laughs> <laughs> All right, I feel like you. That's like crystal good meth, brother. <laughs> I can't stop. I, imagine doing meth and then just having a cigarette. You'd be like, "Come on." <laughs> I reckon it's the same Man, vibe. I don't need to imagine. <laughs> As an expert, Jordan, you know not, what it's no, like. Not that I would know, but it's the same, uh, same vibe. I'm sure. Not that I would know, but it is the same. I'm he's not, sure. I'm sure. Okay, he's as sure. As long as you're sure. Hey, what are you saying, Zach? Look, my legal stance is crystal meth is bad, but on the, on the down low, don't do cigarettes after. <laughs> so what should you, you do? You don't like it. Just go up. What's up from crystal meth? I think that's sort Bloody of the peak. cocaine? Blood is sacrifices? We don't know. <laughs> we, yeah, I don't think we know. I was doing, I did some drugs though, because I had my <laughs> wish. <laughs> Great segue. Oh, I had my yes. wisdom teeth out in oh, where I was yeah. going with that. I forgot to bring that up on the last podcast, mainly because it was a fine experience. I was really worried because for those who missed it, I was getting my wisdom teeth out and the two teeth in front of my bottom wisdom teeth taken out because I were kind of getting a bit mangled um, by those teeth. So I got six teeth out. Too much wisdom. Too much wisdom. They had to stop me, but they can't. <laughs> I wasn't a laughing. Don't keep those teeth in here. We're getting seventy seven percent on math tests. Oh shit! It's crazy. But um, it was actually yeah, very fine. I was worried because Holly had her with some teeth out. And it was brutal because she had. I've been through this before. Like she had the dry socket and it was super painful. So I was just like not sucking anything. Like I usually don't. But like, <laughs> I was being oh, not your usual self, was, Jordan. You love had to, to turn all the fellas away. <laughs> I was being very careful not to suck too much. Oh, and resisting the temptation. Yes, because it's like <laughs> you put some yogurt in your mouth and you want to just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Could you, you have picked the worst food? Could you have picked the worst food? Doesn't the yogurt go in your mouth after the sucking, Jordan? <laughs> oh. But uh, anyway, let him keep talking. He's I, digging. I didn't have dry socket. I was fine. I like I had the wet s- socket. <laughs> <laughs> well, like wet socket. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I guess there's not much to that story because not much happened. I kind of just <laughs> he's cutting it short I, early. I had the hard drugs like on the first day, and I was like, I could just have the Panadol. Actually, it's pretty chill. You are okay with yours, right? Wait, Zach? so are you saying you've got a lot of leftover hard drugs? I do actually. Anyway, what were we saying? <laughs> <laughs> you were okay with your wisdom teeth? Uh, yeah, I was fine. I was fine. I didn't have the I didn't have the strong painkillers here. Yeah, but all our girlfriends copped it real bad. Yeah, what's the deal with that? Weak ass women, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> no, 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 Jordan. We set him up. The tip is though, just eat a bunch and <laughs> just be bored of man. Suck. <laughs> resist the temptation to suck. The women can't resist the temptation they can't to suck. Resist. Oh, that's the reason. Especially with you, <laughs> that's lads. Like, oh, try man. Sucking. Yeah, Dad, one checks out. But uh, yeah, just eat a lot so then when you have the drugs, you don't feel sick and then it's fine. Was my experience wow. anyway. Brilliant. <laughs> Did you guys see? Sorry, this is a bit <laughs> random. Spe- yeah. Talking of eating a lot. You see Mr. Beast tried to not eat for 30 yeah, days. I did see that's that. That's insane. While he was recording other videos. That was the most crazy That was great. I thought, because like, that's a hard enough challenge, but it's like, I'm just doing this on the side. While he's doing the chocolate factory video. Like, can you torture yourself anymore? How did he go? He, I think he, he got, got to 14, 14 and then he- He was doing, wow. a, he was doing a video with Gordon Ramsay and then he caved. What? 
Yeah. Because like Gordon Ramsay was like doing something for his channel where he cooks up things Cooked for food. like the guests. Yeah, sure. And he was like, so you're not even gonna try my food, like my guests. And he was like, oh, I'll try it. And then he kind of- I came. reckon that he was a good hour. Yeah, that would have been the best way to go out. But, but 14, still, 14 days, days is impressive. And he wasn't just like sitting down. He wasn't being a bitch days. about it either. He was being pretty chill. He was recording other videos and everything. Could he drink drinks? No. Nah. Water. Water. Just water. No calories, no nothing. 14 days. Did he lose a lot of weight? Yes. Every day he was losing like a kilo, I think. Jeez. Yeah. So 14 days. I think he lost. Yeah. I think he lost around Does that 14, mean 14 kilos. kilos? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's How quick the math. fuck do you compete? <laughs> yeah, you know, like, oh, we should do underdogs play paintball. No <laughs> offense to us, but how fucking boring compared to I didn't eat for two weeks while I filmed my entire chocolate factory video. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fucked up. There's just, there's just no competing. That's, the, that's kind of the problem with YouTube these days. 100%. A little bit of a rant, but it's so hard for people to start out. It's not a problem for us as much because we've all, already so got good. a start. <laughs> but you look at people trying to create their first video it's like oh what do i do for my first video maybe i should record myself playing a game even if i edit it really well like it doesn't even stand out there's someone playing Fortnite while on a fucking tightrope across the grand canyon and yeah. it all they eat a hundred snakes <laughs> you can't do it you just need to commit it's the thing yeah it's and, not like a money thing though but like everyone that's growing on youtube is also people like Airac or Ryan Trahan that do these insane challenges. Capitalism, bro. The oh, competition should, is good. Maybe we should talk about that. Ryan Trahan's. Uh, I saw that. Do you guys see that? Penny for thirty days. I haven't that watched has any of those. Taken over YouTube though. I saw that. It's, I've seen every one of them. I recommended and just not clicked on it. Yet it keeps coming back for fucking more, and I can't stop it. It's unbelievable. You know, he got two million subscribers that month. Damn. And over like two hundred and fifty million views. What is it? Sorry, I don't know what you guys. So he. Survived on a penny for 30 days. So it's like trading up a penny for like okay. bigger and bigger stuff. Yeah, yeah, cool. But the end goal was to travel across America and give the penny to Mr. Beast. <laughs> so it's like, you got to include Mr. Beast yeah, if you want to get serious. It was a lot of, it wasn't just trading though. He did a lot of like, like yeah. he went, he traded, he got a dollar, then he bought a water bottle, then he sold the water bottle for $2 and then he- blah, blah, blah. Like asking just, someone on the street for something. Like, like He would sell stuff or like he just- a lot of it, honestly, it was fairly repetitive if you watched it. It was still good. Like, it was a chill vibe. But it was like, he would, like, do DoorDash for the day and get some money and then... Oh, what? Do stuff. But then it's it's his personality. We should do yeah. that, but we go to America a- on, like, a freight ship. What? We, what? <laughs> we, we use a, <laughs> we use a penny to get enough money for a to get trip. the four underdogs in a freight container. Oh, in, in a dog the, crate. Yeah, to the US. The underdog crate. We would die. And we'll give the penny to Mr. Beast. No, but we'll we do it. Die. But in it the lasts two, for in a the while. T- guys, hear me out. In the two we weeks the dogs on, on the freight ship, we don't eat for that two weeks. <sighs> oh, double gonna challenge. Die. We're going to die. Double challenge. No, but that's what Mr. Beast did. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what Mr. Beast did. I want to die. <laughs> we got to do it to stay relevant. Oh <laughs> I'm, I'm God. sorry to tell you, Zach, we don't pack any food. Out of all of us, you're the first one I'm eating, just so you know. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be the last one left. No one's going to eat this shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're meat, a, you're a stringy <laughs> blood and blood There'll be and other animals on there, feet. right? Not in our freight. <laughs> What's a freight? The little container. The big oh, container. Are we going in a shipping container? Yeah. That's what you said. It's dark in there. Well, that's why I said we're going to die, but no one seems to care. <laughs> we'll probably start hallucinating. We're going overboard. I'm killing Zach. <laughs> yeah. yeah Day it's, one. A, it's my idea. I've probably got the most meat, so I'll cop that. <laughs> what would happen in like a Lord of the Flies situation with us four? Like- uh, so Who do you reckon would be- become the like leader versus like the second lieutenant? Zach SD's day one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably die in the fucking the plane island. crash. No, I don't think I'd be the worst because I have very strong anti-dying, I, I guess, survival instinct. <laughs> <laughs> what- I'm very anti-dying. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I really don't want to die. Same, bro. No, no, I think Jackson is pretty chill with dying. Jackson's at I'd peace. I'd be fine to die. Yeah, I see, die. I, see, I knew that. Whoa, so I would like, up. if there's a massive tree and your only food source is like a coconut at the top, I reckon you'd just be like, yeah, all right, I'll cop. Oh, I couldn't be bothered. Yeah, and I'd, I'd climb you up would the tree. Not just that means die. you'd die. No, I'd get the coconut. No, no I'd, I'd just hit you with a rock and then get the coconut when you're on the way back. Oh, down. so Zach gets the coconut and then you club him to death. And then I take the it's coconut. Way and the Zach kill meat. people yes. in this. <laughs> and Zach, don't be the Zach meat. <laughs> Hold on. Let's just uh, let's just go back to Jordan on that one. It's a lot easier to, to kill people in their sleep. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. I was watching a podcast. While pod- everyone was distracted, <laughs> he's talking about, I'll just kill you in your sleep. I'm just saying, a rock's a powerful. Right, Guys, so- we can work together. We don't have to kill each <laughs> other. I'm forming an alliance. Who's on my team? 
Not, all of us, right? We we're all survive? on the same that's team. Why, that's what I want. I want you all to join. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I don't want you to be the leader because you want to die. I don't want to be the leader. I just wanted to start a team. <laughs> all right, we'll be in. All right, Peter leads. I climb trees and get coconuts. Brilliant. Jordan murders animals in their sleep instead of us. Okay. And uh, collects food for us. It would be fun. Maybe this no, could be I a wouldn't. video. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would video. be. This is probably Mr. Beast's next fucking video. I We're late to the party. I think it would probably be the most fun possible. Because it's what your brain's for, right? Surviving. Yeah. It's like Survivor, right, I guess. But the thing is, you can trick your brain. If I eat one bit of chocolate, my brain thinks I've just scavenged for an entire day to get that mm. amount of like carbohydrates and it's like whoa we're fucking good <laughs> so if i went to an island and i actually had to do all the work compared to just eating a block of chocolate i had a crazy realization you could watch all those like you know house cleaning videos on youtube and it's all you doing the work of something and then you eat a piece of chocolate you've just simulated living on an island like an island and fending for yourself whoa what you, that you, idea what, went over my head too. Yeah, you know okay you know, you know when people watch <laughs> these videos it's yep. like you know, organizing my pantry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people find it super satisfying to watch. I was like the second hand. Because it feels like yeah. you've accomplished something, yeah. but you haven't. Like playing video games. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> exactly, dude, you get it. By the way, guys, subscribe to Underdogs Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying, we w just sit down, watch a video, because if you want your optimal brain experience, Jordan, <laughs> sit no, no, down. No, 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 no. But the body is a big part of that. I don't know. I don't just fucking point the sun at yourself or something. I don't know. No, like running. Anyway. Okay. Get on a treadmill. What? Bring up a video of like island scavenging mm -hmm. and then get yourself a block of chocolate at the end. I reckon Holy I could Holy shit, work. we've solved life. And Jordan, Every that's day. The, according to Jordan, that's the most fun you can have. I think it would be pretty up there. <laughs> Okay, well, good. should we get off this massive <laughs> tangent? I think, so. and, I think it's a good uh, tangent. <laughs> and go Jackson to had a game, Jackson right? had a game. Prepared. I've got a game. I've got an absolute game. We got over and under is back. Everyone loved it. Hi, was it not higher or lower? Higher? No, it was over under. What's the okay. difference? Under over underdogs. Over. Can we have the um, intro prepared earlier? <laughs> <laughs> Dogs, or under underdogs, that's really generic. No, we should we should improv an intro, right? Jackson, do we not? Yeah, go on, Zach. You have um, one prepared. Higher or lower? What will it be? That was really good. Yeah, can we I'll, chop that I'll up? pay it. Right. Oh wait, but that was the wrong name. It's over or underdogs. Over or underdogs. <laughs> <laughs> I like higher or lower, or whatever the shit you said was good. Oh right. Oh my gosh. We've got. It's a bit more worldly this time. If you'd like to play, do you like guys remember how to play? Indians I would love stuff. to play. Yeah, like what Indians are, and stuff. What are we, uh, nah, so, I'll, I'll not play, actually. Oh, you can sit down. <laughs> right, so I basically ask you the number of something and then one person says a number and then you go over under. So we'll start with you, oh, Zach. Right. Yep, easy. And an easy one, the number of countries in the world. <laughs> what, do I, do I say a number? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I think it's like 256. That's what I was going to say. I think it's that. Can I wait? What do I do now? <laughs> You've got to pick over under. Come you on. can't go the same. I swear Eat that's shit, it. Jordan. Maybe they invented more. Oh no! But some formed lower. Right. Over. Oh. I think it's over in hindsight. One hundred ninety-five. What? Uh, no, yeah, that's, that's what that's it says. literally wrong. No, because countries would take no. over other ones. That's look, not look doesn't it change up again. the number of countries. Uh, it does. I'm not going to argue with the Google. I'll look it up again. That no. definitely changes. Didn't Russia take a few things? <laughs> That's not not the right time to we, say that. We Jordan. approach sensitive topics. Oh, that's, oh, I was yeah, I was thinking Soviet back in the day. Zach. Oh yeah, no, it confirmed. Google said right. So I forget how the points work, but there's points being allocated. Uh, Jordan got points for lower. Well done, Jordan. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Jordan confirmed smartest underdog once again. Oh, Hong Kong even, back in China even yeah. after they took his wisdom teeth. I don't think this is how it works. Isn't Hong Kong back in China? Well, I don't know what that means. They wanted it back. The British had it. Anyways. No, no. I think it's a very, very volatile I'd say situation. that's probably a more complicated situation than they want it back. We won't speak on it at the moment. Yeah, look, probably not for this podcast. Nah, we're not as we'll skip over it for now. Let me know in the comments. Right, Next week, on. we'll transform into a fucking geopolitics but podcast. But what actually happened? The news always just shows shit and moves on. It's like, well, what happened there? Maybe I'll Google it and I'll tell you next week. All right, thanks. I love that Jordan could Google it, but he won't understand it. So he's going to read it and translate it. <laughs> right. Jordan, speaking of brains, the number of neurons in the brain. Holy shit. Uh, 600 million. All right. Shit. I have no idea. That's a, that's a good guess. I don't know if it's higher or lower. Um, we're going to have more. What even is a neuron? 
Wait, do I? I you I'm going to go overdog. More. It's more. Yeah, it's 86 billion. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. So no, I, I did not think that was a good guess, but I thought Peter had to say a number higher. No, no, you, no, say you say higher or lower. It's, it's, oh. it's pretty good when you're... Um, that was easy. Go on second. Right. <laughs> These are a lot <laughs> harder to be fair. Like the that. numbers are massive. I did <laughs> neuroscience, by the way. <laughs> this is actually easy, bro. <laughs> what? All right, Peter. The number of people who have ever lived. It's an estimate, granted. Did we do this? We did this. Did we? Yeah. In 100 air hot seat? <laughs> oh, can you remember? Million? Was it 100 billion? What well, can't go higher or lower? Because <laughs> you just fucking got the answer. Um, well, do I have Wait, to It might be one? more specific. Yeah. Maybe is so it real real specific? Uh, it's <laughs> yeah, they counted it down to the person. <laughs> <laughs> it's really specific. Well, I like phone up a mammoth, see like how many people can you see? I'm going to go more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely it's more. Because do you want to do a was... little bit, Zach? I'll be the mammoth. You want to call me up? <laughs> um, well, ca- yeah, caveman really didn't have phones. All right. Uh, they did not. <laughs> Are you a mammoth? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wooly. How many people can you see from where you are? Yeah, you should have seen that so coming. So would you say your square kilometre view radius is maybe 10 square kilometres? You'll never guess what he's going to say. And then we'll cross multiply that with the amount of space on the earth, which is Pandora at the moment. No, wait, what's it called? Pan- Pangea. 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 I mean, that's a <laughs> box. <laughs> oh, I'm, thinking of, I'm thinking of Avatar. Yo, should we real quick detour on the Avatar 2? Who's excited for that? Zach, stop stalling. Higher or lower? <laughs> I already said higher, but Avatar Did, 2, guys. Is that coming out? Yeah. The Shape of Water. Higher, I reckon. Do we need another one? Yeah, no. So okay. let's move no, on. No, we do. Yeah, another good. Avatar. You can't just drop a movie and have it be like the biggest grossing movie of all time and everyone just instantly forget about it. They're going to have a sequel. Yeah, that's a fair that's point. Because that left my brain like so quickly. Like really faster like than high movie. school algebra. Like so <laughs> fucking quick. It just pieced out. I think that movie's way better than people give it credit Yeah, but when's for. the last time you thought about it? Like just then? Yeah, but before yeah. we mentioned <laughs> it, Dick Wad. Actually the other day, because I was thinking about popular movies that have a lot of CGI. Oh. You know what I think about sometimes? There. What? Unobtainium. What's that? That's the what they're there for. That's the name of the mineral they invented for this oh, movie. Really? Unobtainium. Unobtainium. That's a sick name. It's so fucking stupid. That's something I'd come up with. That lives in my head rent free now and it pisses me right off. Unobtainium. Unobtainium. Can't get that shit. It's unobtainium. Uh, higher. What was the question? <laughs> Number of people billion, that have ever lived. Last week, so no, so it's actually more. more. It's 117 billion according to this because we did have a different answer last week. And I guess it's an estimate. Like Zach said, how can you be sure? Yeah. yeah it's a bit of a guesstimate, isn't it? Right. No, Jordan. I'm going to ask Jordan this one because I feel like he's going to oh. be good at this one. Number of languages in the world. <laughs> what? what? Mr. Language. That's a hard question. How many countries was there? 190. So I'm going to say yep. a thousand. <laughs> That's Think lower. of all the indigenous languages nah, in Australia. Nah, there's like hundreds of languages just in Australia. Do you think it's what? What do you count as a language? A made up one's real? <laughs> <laughs> They're, They're all made up. <laughs> no, but okay. Yeah, Zach, like, what's the difference between a fake language and a real language? Like um, Klingon. Or is it a whole language? Star Wars-y language. If it's a language, then it's a language. I mean, they're all made up. You mean like from a fictional series, yeah, I guess. Yeah, from a fictional series. Ooh. I could make up a language right now and would it count towards this thousand? All right, go on then. Uh, every time you're going to say A, you say E instead. All right, well, say say a sentence. Actually, any vowel just becomes you E. Mean How about that? <laughs> every vowel is actually. E. I'm talking like this and I'm going to get to the No, that's not on the list. Letter. I've checked. It's not on the list. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> it didn't go up. So, yeah. Are you, are you sure? We, yeah, we, yeah. we call it aneurysm and ease. <laughs> what did I say? A thousand. A thousand. Probably more than that. Anyway. I'd say you can change it. A thousand and ten. Okay. <laughs> Watch out, everyone. He's got a good number now. It's actually, I think that's a good guess. I don't know. I'm going to go lower, though. I'm saying lower. It's 7,100. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Think of all the... Every and tribe. <laughs> Dude, think of every uh, tribe ever. And then, like, one squashes the rest. Australia and it, indigenous community have, like... Hundreds, oh, right? Know, hundreds yeah. of languages. And that's just one country. And mine didn't make it in. No, <laughs> it didn't. They <laughs> yeah. thought about it and they went, what? We're not going to talk like that. you got to think about the past. <laughs> There's probably way more, right? It is kind of piggybacking off English. <laughs> English. English. I imagine you submit that to the board of directors. You're like, all right, so get this. It's the same as English, but... I've made it worse in every way. <laughs> Welcome to the <laughs> Endered Eggs podcast. <laughs> God. Why pet? No, you what, a- <laughs> what accent does that sound like? It sounds like an accent of something. Uh, s- no, Scottish. Oh, I reckon New Zealand. Yeah, well, we get Pink. to the Endered Eggs podcast and 
No, that's fish. No, no, I don't like think anyone German. talks like that. I take it back. Fish it doesn't sound chips. like anything. Fish and chips. Fush no, it's fish and chips. Can, can, can we stop doing that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I think we're actually getting to the bottom of something really important here. Righto, righto. We'll move on, actually, I've decided. Whose turn is it? Yeah, Not Zach or me. You just picked Jordan. All right, I'm picking Peter. Number of litres in an Olympic pool. <laughs> I have no friggin' idea. I don't really know this was a standard number, but right. it is. I'm going to do the maths here, right? Go on. How, how, oh, it's 50 metres long. 50. Mm. It's how many metres wide? Guess? 20? Eight There's people. normally eight lanes, yeah. Eight lanes, and each one is like two metres across. Sounds about right. 50 times 16? Yep. Go on. What's that? 8,000? Mm. Yep. Give or take. And then how deep is it? <laughs> Pretty <laughs> deep. Question. You just ask every measurement. Are you figuring it out? All right, 16,000 <laughs> cubic something. meters. I assume it gets deeper, There's right? a thousand. All right, 16 million. Diving? 16 million liters. Oh, what was... Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. Oh, wait. No, no, no. If the diving part is part of it, you're No, screwed. no, just the, just, the, just the swimming pool. Lower. What did you say? 16 million. Okay. Wait. What? A million? What the fuck? Uh, what did you say? <laughs> I'm, not te- I'm not telling you. 16 million. Wait, so a bucket's 10. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be lower. That's too much. How does the bucket help? Because that's 10, this big. That's already pretty oh, big. Yeah. So lower. Jordan's picture himself bailing out the entire pool. Well, it was 2.5 million, so the bucket did help. Yeah, I was going to say 2.5 million. million. What oh, were you going to say? 1.6. That's pretty good. I've guess. messed up the maths on this one. Got to use the bucket technique next time. <laughs> Shit, sorry, my bad. All right, we've got a really hard one. This is Zach's turn. Woo! Number of words in the King James authorized Bible. Number of words in the Bible, mm. like different right. words is or King just James words? Just words. God? I think it's just the. Official it's just the Bible. edition of the Bible. That's the official one. Isn't there one before it? Oh, mate, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not worry about. It. What have you got? Four different words. They change a few, do they? Well, they probably had less words and maybe added more. All right, fuckers, I'm about to mess this shit. How many pages in the Bible? Probably like a thousand. How many words per page? Probably like five hundred. I don't think it's Zach. I tried the maths last time; it didn't work. <laughs> no, it'll work for me. That's five hundred thousand. But you got to remember they're double sided pages, so we're gonna go a million. Hmm. A million it? words in the Bible. A thousand times fifty was five thousand. No, a thousand times five hundred was five hundred thousand. Oh, I got lost. I'm yeah. just definitely going lower than a million. No, there's a lot of eyes. A lot of I words. And the text is really small. <laughs> is there? It's always about thy. <laughs> well, I'm, <laughs> not Actually, trying, no, I'm trying to fool them. It's definitely less, way less. It's so many yeah, less. they may have been trying to a like extend so out the assignment. They had, like, <laughs> they had five pages of content for the Bible and they were like, shit, we got to make this into a whole ass book. Let's God start. came down and was like, at least a million guys, please. <laughs> They're like, thy must. And then like repeating their <laughs> yeah. sentences. Yeah. Like you guys ever try to stretch out one of your school assignments? Yes. Oh yeah. For yeah. sure. Should have and you'll write it all out. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a good well, one. Apost- Cannot. Apostrophes are in the bin. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Search all apostrophes. I reckon it's like 128,000. So under controversial. What's the number? Under. It was under. It was. Hold on. Surely I, was I close. forgot my password. Based on nothing. Seven hundred eighty-three thousand. Oh, you're actually close. Close, close. You're actually yeah. close. You're actually close. All right, this book. one I think you could figure out if you do the math, but it might take too long. So we might just give everyone's quick answer. I'm pretty good at math. Right. Number of combinations of a f- straight flush that are possible in poker. Sixty-four thousand. <laughs> so of a straight Brilliant. flush. Yeah, we're we're giving fifty eight fi- quick answers. Quick answers. That's go, so go, 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 go. I don't know. Fifty, ass. fifty. So close to mine. Forty. Oh, oh What did you say? Fifty eight. Forty thousand. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. 64,000. off. He said, give us your quick answers. And I, I got to respect it. it. I forgot what a straight flush was. I was thinking regular flush. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be See probably a fair. Yeah. yeah, that can would be we, heaps of real, that. Real quick, not to validate me or anything. Can we Google Google? How many possible <laughs> combinations of a, a flush? regular flush? I reckon it's a 1,000. Hmm? It's more than that. These things get out of hand real quick. Oh. Number of possible... Just, have, isn't it crazy that every time you like properly shuffle a deck of cards, it, it's almost certainly never come up before in history, like that arrangement of cards? That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. That's like chess, apparently. There's like yeah, more millions. chess games and stars. Or yeah, bullshit. like when you get in probability like that stuff, it just like, it's hard to imagine. You're like, surely this has come up before, but it probably hasn't. It's almost so certainly. Yeah. It's, uh, it's crazy. 5,148. 64,000. Wow, I was pretty <laughs> close. <laughs> that's not what I said, actually. Oh, uh, well. Do we have any more higher or lower That's all I wrote down. That's, higher that's or lower dogs. Sorry, I'd just like to correct myself. Probably not stars. It might have been grains of sand. 
Because aren't there infinite stars, maybe? Uh, arguable. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that just can't be that fact then. It's interesting about <coughs> space that people just like say stuff and you just really, yeah, what yeah, are you sure. going to do? You're like, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> There's no way to check if the universe is infinite. No. Because you can't get there. Maybe when and you, you can't see it. Maybe isn't when you it, die. Doesn't it like have to be infinite? No. No, isn't it expanding? I reckon it's infinite. I watched Buzz Lightyear in the movies. Oh, did <laughs> what, did that answer that question? No, but it, it was getting close. Oh, wait, Lightyear. no, they're saying infinity and beyond that. What the hell? <laughs> how does that work? Well, it has to be infinite then. He does say that. <laughs> how do you... Yeah, he goes... But infinite's always grow. Infinite doesn't make sense, actually. Because that means... What? Okay, so if oh, there's... What are we doing? If no, we're having a Jordan <laughs> statement. Let <laughs> him do it. If I want the Jordan question. If there's this. infinite, then we're doing this right now somewhere else. Yes. Infinitely... Yeah, That's, correct. It doesn't make sense. But it's then there's also a version that. of us where like Zach is like a giant slug. If it's infinite, there's every no, possible no, no. arrangement of everything. Also a version where you're funny. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> hey, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Hey. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> Can, yeah. Can we have the Better. Jordan question oh, of the week? Um, actually. Wait, wait, remember? Go on, no, wait, what about Buzz Lightyear or nothing to have it? Oh, wasn't good, that good? good movie. Go oh, watch it. Brilliant. Was it actually good? Yeah, it was. I want to go see it. So for those of you that don't know, Lightyear is the movie that Buzz Lightyear, the toy in Toy Story, is based off the movie Lightyear. Oh. Yeah. Right. So it wasn't like a spin-off where the toy actually goes to space. No, it's... What the toy is based on. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yep. that's pretty cool. It is very cool. And it's just like a good standalone movie. It has nothing really to do with Toy Story. Interesting. That's Just getting sad. that nostalgia points, you know, the recognition factor for Have you for not us. seen it, Jackson? No, I haven't seen it. You're a Toy You're Story fan. I love Toy Story, but I haven't been yet. It's it not in the it. universe, as you yeah, said, so it's, it's kind it's of good. rubbish. All right, not going to lie. Uh, didn't really prep this... Because I thought Coney was coming, we weren't going to do it. So well, I've let's got just let's just do a, a few quick random notes. The intro. One of though. these might be good. Yeah, what's the intro? Do I do intro? In- no, we got to do the intro to the Jordan Someone question else week. Well, I did it last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's always this fucking music. <laughs> Jordan's question of the week. Oh, Sometimes we think it's stupid, but I think they're just great. You should have said unique. Oh, right. oh. wait, rewrite, rewrite. No, it. I don't oh, do no, it again. No. <laughs> Stop it, stop it. I'm going to have nightmares. I also that. might have more. <laughs> also the beginning of the laugh track. Huh? And nothing I've else. just kind of got a few things I was going to Google, but didn't. Get um, the boit, boit ready for this yeah. one. Do we swallow our air? That's, oh, that's, that's it. Do we swallow no. our air? What do you mean our air? <laughs> Try and swallow twice. It's pretty hard, right? Is that because you used up all the air? No, it's because you used up all the saliva. Nothing to swallow. <laughs> oh, wow. If you get a bit of a goose going in your mouth, you can swallow again. Yeah. All right, that one's pretty boring. Um, no, 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 no. But you do swallow some air. I think you just breathe it, don't you? No, no, you definitely swallow some air while you're like chewing and eating. Isn't that why it's so hard to eat two bananas and drink a whole bunch of Sprite? You need too much that. air. I think that's the gas coming through the Sprite, not from your swallowing yeah, air. Yeah, but it's, it's air going into your stomach. That's why you burp. No, but then- Isn't get it? the air no, out but of your stomach. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. That's wait. dissolved, uh, like what? Dissolved carbon dioxide in your stomach, which is dissolved in the liquid, so you don't actually eat the air. It wouldn't be the air, because otherwise it wouldn't be about banana and Sprite. It would just be, if you swallow <laughs> 10 times, you'll vomit. The banana something. and air challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you definitely do. But if while you're eating, you'll take yeah, a little bit of air, and then you got to burp it out. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he's right. What's this one? Kinda. I guess it wasn't right. He Will our bodies get confused on Mars? Oh yeah, that's right. Yes. Um, so <laughs> no, that's a great question. I yes. was thinking about this. Yeah. What? Okay. Let's see if any of you guys have figured out my problem. Mm. We might even need to let Elon know or something. What's What's one of the problems <laughs> with our body? Get him on the speed dial, Zach. <laughs> we know your besties from <laughs> last episode. Mars. Yeah. Um, What's the problem on Mars? Yeah. Gravity, right? No, nah, that's not. Your heart thinking. will pump too hard and then everyone's head will get real big. And that's why aliens have that upside down oh, triangle head. So smart. Because their, their <laughs> heart pumps and there's less gravity. So all the blood goes into the brain and that's why they're so smart and make UFOs and shit. And they're oh. smart enough to not visit Earth. So apparently. you're saying to become smarter, I should hang you upside down so all the blood goes to your head? Yeah, well, not me. <laughs> <laughs> but you could hang yourself upside down. I don't think I can Wait, handle is that, that much actually knowledge. An if issue? you were born, here's, here's a question. If yep. you were born upside down and lived like that your whole life, would you be smarter? Because your body would be used to now having lots of blood in the head. They'd be like, what are we going to do with all this blood, all this blood inside our head? We're going to make, <laughs> make, make, make the brain bigger. Do you have a boo <laughs> sound effect? <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I, I didn't plan for that to become a, a rendition my of my hum. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of just, just it kind of just sounded that I, way and led me to that. I think conclusion. the problem with that situation is that as soon as you stood upright for the first time, you were just instantly faint. <laughs> yeah, but don't. Oh, okay. Why does that make you smarter? Because there's lots of brain, you know, there's lots of blood in the head. More brain activity. Your body will be like. Well, what do we do with this blood? We better pump it into making the brain bigger. Surely you just pump it somewhere else, off to the legs. <laughs> pump it louder. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Black Eyed Peas getting some rep this episode. Is that actually what happens though? What happens when you go to space? Does the blood go around? Do they need a suit? <laughs> no, it stops. Do they need a, does the suit do that? Does it? Do you know? Your body still keeps working. You don't need gravity or blood to pump. Like your body the knows. Muscles where the different pressures is. Like, you know when you stand up really quickly mm. and you might be lightheaded for a second? Mm-hmm. That's when I died. But before. then your body corrects itself and yes. your body just, it will correct itself in space and then you'll just be normal again. Oh. Your body's pretty smart. You know, I have the I know your problem though for, for Mars. Like, on. just so my input, you won't be able to fuck. Me? Yeah. You guys Why? can't fuck. Oh, the gravity will mess up your rhythm. Yeah, I said like the, yeah. the require like Jordan's worked out is like thrusting pattern, you know, he knows what you know what works. You know your body can adapt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Jordan's said it's pretty good though. So it's good to, it's fine to get to Mars, but repopulating. Like imagine like happen. you like wind up a big thrust and then you kind of just go fucking tumbling off into the fucking space. Is that space. something you do wind up a big <laughs> thrust? <laughs> You don't. Here it goes. Fucking super. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a meet up. Like, you know, I'm picturing the fucking WWE when you run into the ropes and then you like, <laughs> and you run at them. Don't you guys wind up a powerful oh, move? Shit. Like, a, like a finisher. Yeah, well, and you kind of like always doing that. You know how like you? yeah, like a, car- a, a lot of characters got to scream out their signature move like before they do it. Like yeah. Falcon Punch. Yeah, except yeah, yeah. like whatever your move is. If I don't you know what it is. What do you call it? yours? <laughs> You, do, you have one. You said everyone does. So what's uh, yours called? The Hopcat Shotgun Pump. Oh, baby. <laughs> and you say, oh, here it comes. The Hopcat. What was it? Shotgun Pump. Hopcat, Are you shotgun fucking, did pump. I stutter, bitch? Well, I did. And then the she's Peter like, pump. oh, brilliant. Bring it on. That's why they call me One Pump Pete. <laughs> it's, it's a massive wind up. It takes one pump, but it's powerful. <laughs> right, bend over. I'll be ready in five oh, minutes. God. <laughs> the-, the whole time. Now in cartoon character. Swings yeah. around a circle. Imagine Swing that, but it ain't my my arm. <laughs> I'm picturing it exactly correct. I don't think you even move your hips. I think it just sort of <laughs> oh ring and then right, straight so through. That shit's not working in space. <laughs> Jordan, what's your signature move if we're moving along the line? Dude, I, I don't even I know. Jordan had a point or something. Now, <laughs> now I'm just Jordan thinking about six wa- sex shit. way different oh. as it's just a constant meter build up until you. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is that, isn't it? It actually is. I guess. Like if you had a bar. Yeah, and it, it kind of like, it, it kind of has a bit of a decay time on it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's just a special move. And girls are really varied on the tier list. They can sometimes use multiple supers or sometimes yeah, not use a single one in a whole fight. I don't know why Impressive. I'm on this <laughs> Anyway, I, was, I wasn't thinking any of that. I was thinking, because I heard recently- Wait, wait real, real, real quick, while we're on the topic, <laughs> is the gravity lower in Mars? Yes. Is it? Oh, that's good. So By how, jump, no, that's right? bad. It's like 0. 0.6 of Earth, I no, think. No, but then- That's um, terrible. We'll get so weak. Yeah, but you could, uh, Weak. it'd be way easier to like lift someone up. Not I could dunk. Back. That's pretty sick. Won't your bones shrink? Surely, sh- okay, surely if they do basketball on Mars, they don't <sighs> leave the hoops the same height. They make them bigger so you can be like more epic. But mid-air. I want to dunk. You're still, no, you're still short on Mars. Damn Sorry, it. man. <laughs> you could just jump from half court. That'd be pretty sick. Because, you know, usually I can jump from court Yeah, I was going to say so. point, point six <laughs> time doesn't make you fucking LeBron James, Jordan. <laughs> Um, so what was your thought? Well, I heard lately that we've got a clock in us. Is that true? Like a 24 hour clock? timer. Yeah. <laughs> I what it's picture, called. We got a clock in us, Jordan, just picturing like a ticking alarm clock. No, what's it called? Internal clock. Body no, clock. Sed- uh, C something, anyone know? Circadian, Circadian rhythm. Circadian oh, rhythm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's on 24 hours. Not sure how that started. But if we go to Mars- What do you mean it's on 24 hours? No, he's right. It's he's got a point. <laughs> No, but I he guess he has a point, point, but I just don't know what he means. Oh, so, for our okay. audio listeners, uh, it still didn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I know of it. You wake up, your body's like, or awake. 1700. Yeah. And then it's next 16 hours, we'll do something and then be a bit quieter. Oh, I see that. what you mean. Yeah, yeah. The body actually has got 24 hours in it. Yes. Somehow. Sure. I don't know if that's, we were born like that. God was like, you're going to earth 24 hours. Or if we worked it out. 
So if we go to Mars, let's say the day is 40 hours, what happens? Well, that's your body a, would get used to point. it, right? Because it's like the people that think, live in the no, dark. No, no, but we, that's what I'm saying. You got, you got 24 hours hardwired. It could be evolutionary. No, like, he's, kind on, of, he's onto something I here. think it kind of changes because like, the circadian rhythm is influenced by like if you watch the sunset, you'll sleep easier and stuff like this because mm-hmm. you see the dark. So if you go to like Mars, you'll understand the days and it'll No, but the change. dark is on a timer. I don't know what you're talking about. I've got a theory on how to fix this. Why don't you just like put people in a room with fake day and night for like two weeks and then slowly like work it up to the day, yeah. like the length of Mars day. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. This is a problem. I think. Yeah. I think, I think this is a legitimate good, good point. I think your body would figure it out. The body's good. The body is amazing. The body's incredible. It's pretty crazy. That's what happens. You go to space, right? Your bones shrink and then you come back. And no, like, they oh, get bigger. No. They, you expand and then you get taller. No, you don't. You get taller in space. Oh, but I think they get way, way less. Wait, you get taller? Peter, you could dunk. You could I could dunk. <laughs> yeah, but then I'll be back on Earth for two days and shrink back to normal size. Your space body, is just weird, man. Your body would adjust though. Yeah, 100%, wow. 100%. I have faith in the body. The body's so crazy at adapting. I love about this sort shit. of thing in like sleep science and your body would just adapt to different like circadian rhythm. Oh, that's true. Because my girlfriend, she started day. her prac recently of working full time for the first time ever. Um, and it seems pretty rough getting used to that, like never yeah, working yeah. nine to five. And then she usually sleeps a lot. Like she will just sleep like 10 hours, 11 hours some days. So she's like, oh my God. At the start of the week on Monday, it's now, what is it? Thursday. And she's like, kind of fine. Like she I already the, got used to it. I had the wildest jet lag because going to America for like a three days. Yeah. Is um why, why are you laughing? I don't know, go on, no, this is very good. Yep, what? I feel attacked. <laughs> no, 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 continue, continue. Uh, yeah, it's Tell like complete opposite like. hours in America, and it's just like I would feel really good in the mornings, and then like by the end of the day at like ten p.m. because it's like staying up an entire night instead of during the day, mm. feel like super tired at night. And then when I go to bed, even though I'm super tired, I wake up like every hour. And it's just because like the melatonin levels are the exact opposite compared to what they usually would be. Yeah. For those that don't know, like your body will produce melatonin when it gets towards nighttime, which will make you more tired and then you sleep. And except your body can definitely like adjust the time that it produces like the melatonin levels, which is basically the body clock that you were talking about. I see, I see. But what you can do, you can also take like melatonin tablets before you go away and get jet lagged and like take them two hours before you go to bed, then four hours before you go to bed, then six hours, like every day. And then it'll just adjust your body for you. Were days longer when the dinosaurs were here? Does anyone know? What? (laughs) No. Go uh, again? Okay, so I reckon, was the earth spinning a bit... Faster. Oh, and it's like slowing down and it'll be like, uh, eventually it'll stop. Yeah, like why isn't it slowing down? It's probably slightly different, yeah. Because like- Why not? What's that thing we learned? Everything- Oh, Nelson's op- law. <laughs> Newton's law, Newton's law, right? Nelson's law. So Earth is spinning. I reckon if you're spinning a tennis ball, right? Yeah. It, it slows down eventually. Yeah, that's because of drag, because of air. Exactly. Where's the air in space, Jordan? So a big asteroid hit the Earth, right? Yep. Didn't that slow it down? Might probably, yeah. I wonder if the day's way shorter. I think that our days that? It probably Peter do get thrusted the earth harder. <laughs> Hit it with a shotgun. We might if we have all got together and kept jumping, we could make the day longer. You know, people are like, oh, we still more hours on the day. Start jumping. We could work it out, I reckon. What if we all ran the same direction? Like a big fucking treadmill. Oh, but dude, it's no, it's planet. like, like you know when you make a whirlpool? Yeah, in the spa or something, you make a whirlpool. Yeah. Why do we just get every human and do it in an ocean? I think this is, we just got a, we got four on board. We just got to convince the other 7,500,996. Oh, but then the nights get longer. I just realized how does it work? What are your guys' thoughts on um time, like places near the equator and stuff having longer days in like summer and shorter days in winter? Mm. Like, I think we're in a pretty good we're spot here. We're in a here. good spot. We're pretty balanced, I think. Because I was watching like a video of this like parkour jam or whatever. They're in, <laughs> they're in like Sweden or something. And it looked like their day was so fucking long. They did activity after activity after activity. And they were like, oh, it's about time to pack up. It's bright as midday. It's And they're like, it's 11 p.m. I'm like, what the fuck? That's crazy. That yeah, would be crazy. But then how depressing would winter be? That's what my, because my mom lived in England, which I guess is probably not as extreme. Oh, I guess it's dark at like four. Yeah. She said she would like come home from school and it's nighttime. You're like, well, fuck. So like, depressing. <laughs> yeah. That sounds brutal. Yeah, we it? have that a little bit, but nothing like that. Would you guys pretty- like to live somewhere like more equatorial? No. So it's more even or more oh, I definitely in the poles? Even. More even. Yeah. yeah even for We're me. here. It's like, it'll get. The shortest it gets is probably, what, 5.30, 5. Yeah. 5.15 p.m. And then the longest, the sun will be out till like 8. Even, 8.30. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. I rate it. Happy with that. Wouldn't change it. 
Well, didn't you just say you would? Uh, do you guys think you're ever going to move away, <laughs> like permanently uh, from yeah. P- Perth? Definitely. 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 Where, Where to? to? <laughs> Can you hurry up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, probably like I don't know. America seems cool. Really? Just like that is everywhere. so One, scared. I I I'd I love scared. our American viewers, but that is possibly the least cool place I would say. Oh, oh shit! And you've been wow. there many times to move to. Uh, look, Zach's I, like sent me to Antarctica. <laughs> I've been to America four times. Loved every holiday there. Mm. But living there, especially with the shit they got going on, the fucking dreadful Supreme Court ruling and the gun law shit. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, scared. sorry, it I'd seems be... like a bad place to live. Great place to visit. I wouldn't want to be there thoughts. forever, but I'd definitely like to live there for I don't know two years. You can something. live there for a couple of years. Yeah. Canada's experience. like I'll do Diet Canada America. as well. Diet America. I would also just be scared. They got natural disasters and terrorists. We don't really have that. Hey, <laughs> who's going to do anything Perth, to Perth? Perth's quite safe. You know what I mean? Like people aren't like, ah, oh, we got to get back at Perth. It's not going to happen. And there are some people. Not many. There's some people everywhere for stuff like that, but you're probably right, yeah. America's a big hotspot. I feel like America has a lot more extreme views on things. People do. I've heard, actually. Mm. Yeah. That's what it seems like to me. I mean, I've, I've been been. I, I would go to some some progressive Europe country. Yeah, like, I was going to say, like you go to Norway? freaking like Sweden or Denmark or- Iceland, maybe. What do they but, progress at? Uh, I think, I don't know which country it is. It's one of them. The Norways or the Swedens or the Denmarks. One of them has like the best uh, renewable energy- Everywhere because they're like small and their government's just like, oh, let's build five fucking five million wind turbines. And then they do it. <laughs> and then they, the whole country is powered by wind. It's and also pretty have good. Like cool schooling systems. And that's like, like Finland, like cool I think, shit. is a yeah, but best exactly. rated yeah. schooling. Wait till you find out about their tax rate. Then you might not like the idea so much. I reckon it's worth it. Um, if they have the some of the highest tax doing, rates in the world. Yeah, but if the government but did good stuff it. with it. That's a fair point. It depends. It's like, you know, the socialism to capitalism scale. Like, obviously, they take more money, but they do more good things with it. So, like, you know, it depends what you think. But I don't know. The YouTube, getting taxed on YouTube is so grim already because you have to pay it out after. Like, it doesn't just come out of your paycheck. You have to pay it at the end of the year. It hurts, man. Yeah, financial year feels. (laughs) Yeah, it hurts, man. (laughs) Nah, that's that's cool. Where would you want to live? Well, I've never been anywhere, so I wouldn't know yet. Mm. I mean, I've been out of Australia. I've been to Bali once, yeah, for Whoa. a bit when I was like twelve. It was kind of just bad, wasn't it? <laughs> it was just like, I don't know, Australia's a bit better. What about no even offense. like Melbourne or Sydney or something? Would you move there? No, nah, it's so similar, and then there's like more people I know here. Yeah, family sure. for sure. Yeah, it's not different enough. Melbourne's nice. Don't worry, guys. The Underdogs Podcast is staying together. Woo! <laughs> 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 Yeah. The shortest applause what ever. What about you, Peter? Yeah. Um, I, I'd probably like, I'd consider like other places that are similar in lifestyle to Australia, but just as like a change of scenery. So yeah. like New Zealand, mm-hmm. Canada, Would you want to Europe. Like, are you saying permanently or like you Oh, wanna... for, I don't know. It, it depends. It depends on my living situation because I currently have no reason to move. Yeah. yeah like exactly, I have this yeah. going on here, right? Like yeah, I have yeah. underdogs here. I have like my girlfriend here. I have friends here. I have Frisbee here. It's pretty. But solid. if all that stuff suddenly went out the window or something, I wouldn't see a problem with moving. Mm-hmm. But there's no real reason to right now. So. Yeah. I need to go some to some more places. Have you ever been to any of those countries? Which ones? Sweden or whatever it was. The no. ones you said you would go move yeah. to. Yeah. Oh, like any no, of those they types just of look, countries. They just look cool. Ireland would be sick. Canada would be awesome. New Zealand would be awesome. Netherlands. I want to go to the Netherlands. Yeah. That'd be dope. Isn't that like Peter Pan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can go there, Peter. Oh, shit. Anyway, moving on. I went camping last weekend. Oh, go on. Dude. Oh, really? Fucking camping. Yeah, that, was, that was pretty good. We went away for a night, me and Maddie, in the van, which uh, is kind of the advantage of having uh, <laughs> yeah, you got advantage. a van with a mattress. Yeah, there's a van with a bed in there. It's got a kitchen. It's got a table and chairs and all that. Probably going to sell it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it kind Not of fucked up use? when we went away. Like, it nearly didn't start, and then that was a very grim situation. Someone, had to, someone had to jump start the van Damn. in the morning because it gets too cold, and then, yeah. the, and then the battery doesn't work. Apparently, oh. it's common with this type of van because it's, like, 25 years old. Oh, okay. So it's a pretty old van. I remember Maddie put so much effort into that van, like, a year yeah. ago. Like, it's not is, been that long. People buy vans with the bed and everything done up Definitely. in it. So, like... She oh. can probably sell it for a pretty similar price that she got it for. Yeah, yeah. My sister got a van and they did it. They put on a, some solar panels or something, drove it across Australia. I'm like, oh, Seb's coming back. And then they just sold it. Yeah. Got some more money for it from fixing the, it up. It's got the solar, like the battery, the mattress, the kitchen. 
everything. So if anyone wants a van, there's nothing wrong with start. the battery. <laughs> anyone in Perth, the battery's wow, Dude, beautiful. We <laughs> my sister definitely did that. Her car was like going out, and she quickly sold it. Like, like it wasn't starting, and then the person came, and as they came, it did happen to start. And they're like, yes. But, uh, that's, that's a bit of a that's dog. dog. You're literally about these to do are definitely that. the cars I've bought. And I'm not. Oh, me too, dude. Yeah. I've been on the receiving end of these cars, oh, yeah. not the giving. Yeah, because I don't know rough. enough about cars. It's like, does it start? And I guess that looks good to me. Exactly. I don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, that's rough. See, so. I had I had one car before my current one, and <laughs> okay. <laughs> What? Oh, come on. Great what? story. What? what happened? Hit the fucking applause what? button for that what? shit. What happened? Whoa, yeah, what? Zach, nice one. I, went through Sorry, your I took a pause for everyone to bully me and say, like, oh, about a Tesla. About, yeah. <laughs> no, we've I killed just, him. I just expected it. We've Every time I mentioned conscious. my car, you guys are like, oh, what car is that? <laughs> so I was just waiting for that. We were talking about the other car. Really awkward. So, yeah, my old car. Before I think I've told this Tesla. story before, but. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> Uh, it was Wait, you have a like Tesla? <laughs> Is very... that even a car? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. No more that's the story done. You're oh, Thank it. God I don't already know. Nah, go on. No, it just very <laughs> slowly died and then uh broke down finally on my first date with Maddie. And then I couldn't even be fucked doing it up to sell it. So I think I gave it to my parents and I was like, can you <laughs> fix it Want and then money? like sell it? Because I wasn't even going to get anything for it. And my mom loves a bit of a like fixer upper situation. Ooh. So People they used to do that. Yeah. They put in like a lot of effort and did it up and sold it for a pretty good price. I think. Uh, That's cool. Yeah. But they, it was half their car at the start anyway. Like they paid for half of it uh, mm. back when I was learning. So dude, I get so miffed when I hear someone that gets like given a car by their parents. And like when they're like, oh, I haven't done my test yet, but I've, I've, I own this car. I'm like, oh, sh- how'd you get that? And like, oh, my parents bought it for me. I'm jealous, like, Peter. Oh, yeah, I am, <laughs> dude. I am. I'm so jealous because I bought a shitty car and it did not serve me. It didn't serve me. Fine, you just need to compare yourself to like, I don't know. I mean, someone clear- who's dead. Someone is, is this well, Jordan? At least I'm not that dead guy. You know what I mean? We're pretty up there. Here, here's the Jordan's percentage. thing. Sometimes I just close my eyes and imagine a desert with nothing in it, yeah. and then I open my eyes and what I'm happy do? again. Always compare yourself above. Just compare yourself to below, and it's, you're the best. It's, okay. it's a good oh, point. Man, over or underdogs, real life. Jordan literally you know has I mean, no? dep- depression rates go to zero after Jordan speaks <laughs> one time. <laughs> <laughs> the Underdogs podcast responsible for you know, curing like depression. Like, freaking someone starving at the moment. You're like, oh, There's they a got cure. a car. I had to buy it with my YouTube money. <laughs> That's so stupid. It's like saying we cured world hunger. Someone that's starving is like, there's probably someone more starving than you. Wait, now Just, I'm lost. You're not starving. What? You're allowed. Basically, what's actually you're logic. allowed to complain about things just because you don't have the worst. You're still allowed to complain about things. I reckon Jordan's. I'm, I'm with you, Jordan. Yeah. Me too. That's why we're chilling. Every time you <laughs> ever complain about something, Jordan, I'm just going to say some absolutely irrelevant shit. That I don't has really hear Jordan nothing to do with it. Exactly. Because he's always yeah, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan well. doesn't exactly. actually complain. Does, Does he not? I can't when? think nah, of a time he's I don't complained. Think he's ever. I don't really complain much either. I was just saying I was miffed, but uh, maybe he doesn't complain at all. Exactly. Maybe I'm more of a complainer than Jordan. De- oh, you definitely, definitely are. I'm not a complainer. De- oh, yeah, no. When do my I? My view is different. When have I complained? Name- uh, literally like 10 seconds ago. <laughs> no, I said, said I was a little miffed. <laughs> it's yeah. different. It's a complaint. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's just a little comedy. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a big complaint, but Jordan, I can't think of time I've ever heard him complain. Damn, this, yeah, you've this come is... up against the big dog here, Peter. Yeah, I was going to say. You complain less than me. You can't compare no yourself shit. to people less than you all the time. Peter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was taking a big hit on my self-identity because I don't identify as someone who complains about a lot of things. I don't think you are. I don't think any of us are big complainers oh, definitely necessarily. Not. Jordan's would be one of the least complainers I know. Oh, my God. I almost got hit by a car yesterday, but I didn't say anything. It was pretty <laughs> funny. Like, you win. I, you win. Dude, <laughs> all right, all right. I get it. It was the craziest thing. Holly and I, I was, Holly and I, were, I was driving. Holly's next to me. And it's like, uh, you know, you're going in two lanes, yeah? Yeah. Then there's the other side of the road is two lanes going the other way. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to explain for the audio listeners. There's a bit in the middle where you're crossing. Yeah. yeah okay. Is it like a line or was it a median strip? Like, is that what it is? In the, there's like a An middle island. where you wait and then you can go into the two lanes. Oh, like yep. a, a slip road or something or yep. something yep. like that. Anyway, yep. they're, they're, they're just waiting to turn onto my two, my lane. Yep. They're just waiting there. And I'm just driving clearly right in front of them. I am get to about 
20, 30 meters, probably 20 meters away from them, they just start pulling out. <laughs> I'm like, I just turn like to the left and like avoid them. Like they literally just came out. You did a little screw. I'm going 70 Ks an hour. They like, Jesus. they come out, they slowly start. And I was like looking at their wheel and I was like, are they going right in front of me? And they're just like, Whoo. but then I just like turned to the left and like avoided them and then kept going. I didn't say anything. And so the story like is pretty Holly, Holly was like, what happened? And you were like, silent. Exactly. <laughs> Nothing, babe. Just some sweet drivers out on the road today. <laughs> and by the way, I never complain about anything. No, I'm just started whistling. I think Holly said, I'm going to give them the finger when they come past. Because <laughs> Holly was in the car as well. I'm going to do it. But yeah, Don't that's pretty make crazy. Me do it. But I've, I've been in the car with you and then you complained about a driver. So I was just saying that. So oh, I, I get it. You again. win, Jordan. I get it. So. He's got him again. I think the, the road rage thing is more just like, it's like an instance like, oh, you fucking moron. And then it's just like completely out of your it brain. It is so funny how you would probably never do it if imagine like, instead of cars that just drive past, like the cars are just both still and you wind down your window and you're like, you bastard. Like you would never say that. I would. I would. I stand by you it. Would? Oh, yeah, I stand by the statements I say. <laughs> oh, wow. As someone who's Have always you right. That? You pulled up to the traffic light and it's like, you bastard. Oh, dude. I like, I... I don't think I shy away from confrontation. I don't seek oh, it out. Wow. But if, if someone like w one time, I think Sophie was driving and then she like, she wasn't indicating and then she went into something and someone behind her didn't slow down. So it kind of was on Sophie, except it wasn't a huge deal. Like it wasn't like she almost caused an accident. The person was just like angry. The person went and like started going to turn around oh, and to no. come back and start yelling at us like windows <laughs> down. And I was like, Wind the window down, babe. I'll fucking give it to him. Like, you know, like I'm not afraid of some fucking idiot in a car, you know? Like, I'm like, I think I, I lack that in my life. So I seek it out in these opportunities, you know? Just to fight. Yeah, just, just I just want to have a fight yeah. sometimes, you it's know? It's been building up that meter for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Just wants to punch <laughs> someone it's in the gym. Different meter for the record. <laughs> the guy doesn't know what the wind up. What was it called? The Peter Hocker or something? The shotgun. The shotgun. shotgun. <laughs> Isn't that complicated? <laughs> but I can't get it right. Oh, oh God. God. No, I, what Jordan was saying, the most fun you can have being deserted on an island. Yeah, go on. Maybe the most fun you can have is having just a fight for your life. Because you're saying your body's made for that. Maybe your body's made for fighting for but your life. I think that's only fun maybe if you win. <laughs> yeah, but it'd be fun. Well, you don't really get to experience a loot, a loss. I was gonna, yeah, if, if you lost, you're not going to be there to fucking you know, be, be like, sorry oh, about it. Shit. You're bloody on the floor. You'd be dead. You'd be dead. You don't always die. You every fight time to you the lose. death, you're going to oh, lose. Well, we wasn't, it said it was a death fight. You, I didn't use I'm pretty sure I said fighting for your life. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, but you could hang on. <laughs> you could hang on. Hey guys, lose. I lost. I lost my fight for my life, but I'm okay. <laughs> guys, I lost a fight right now as well. What? I've been fighting to not show my feet on the whole podcast. Oh shit! Oh, and I happened. just crossed my legs. Oh. oh, and we're so close to the end. Oh, and this, nobody watches this far anyway. This is like, yeah, this is pretty much about time. And no one will end the podcast. Up little video little, guys. little and Easter I egg. I literally have been fighting against the impulse to not to cross show your legs. my feet. Cross my legs, whole podcast, and I just lost. So rewind thirty <laughs> seconds, guys. Get your meters ready. Whatever the fuck you want to. Your meters. Oh my. Your, your meat meter. Charge it up. Uh, but anyone have anything else to say before we wind down? Uh, we'll probably have, have a guest next week. Oh yeah, maybe no. Coney will oh, fucking okay. come on our podcast next week. So look forward to that. That's yeah. pretty epic. Yeah, Not sick. with the meter though. Different. Yeah, maybe we'll talk about different stuff <laughs> when different he's here. Home, yeah. yeah, thanks, different. Jordan. Yeah. Um, if if you're someone epic who who watches us <laughs> and you want to you want to come on the podcast, send us a DM on Twitter, yeah. Underdog's account. I'll check it. Uh, if you have enough clout, I'll reply. <laughs> Do you reckon anyone epic has watched this far? In yeah, any of our yeah, podcasts? yeah. I know that um, Coney. I, I actually you're I don't want to dox you're other potential guests actually. But I have been talking to some other people and they're like, I like the podcast. I'm like, yo, you're epic. And we'll, we'll see if we can have oh, one. Oh, that's so big news. Nice. So people come. Stay tuned for some sick guests. You're going to get a lot of emails. Just like, I'm pretty epic. I uh, I have four followers. I, uh, Guys, don't bully. That was you volleyball. once. I had five. Forget about <laughs> it. All right. All right. All right that's Let's it. call it. That's Bye, enough guys. of that. Peace. Thanks, Love you. Ciao.